Hello everyone and welcome back. In today's video, we will learn how to create a circle using SVG. So, to create a circle, we can simply use the circle element. Let's try an example to understand it better. So, first we gotta put the SVG element. Let's give it a width and height, say 100 pixels by 100 pixels. Let's add the circle tag. So the circle tag requires circle origin position. So for that, we can use the CX and CY attributes. So CX, say 50, CY, say 50. Then we need to give a radius for the circle. So let's do that. So for that, we can use the R attribute. So R stands for radius. Let's say 50. Also, let's give a color to our circle. So for that, we have another property called fill. So let's say, so here we specify the color. We can use the name, hex, RGBA, etc., etc. So let's just say light blue. Let's save it. Right click and open with live server. And as you can see, we've got a nice circle here. Also, let's add the fallback text. So if someone is running a browser which doesn't support SVG, then instead of SVG, this text is shown to the user. So let's just say, sorry, buddy. Your browser does not support inline SVG. Let's save it. So now, if someone is running on a browser where switch is not supported, they would see this text. All right, let's minimize our code editor. Let's bring it up here. Let's try changing some values and see what happens. Say we change the center of the circle. So instead of CX50, let's make it 60. Let's save it. And now, as you can see, circle is moving towards the right. And it's getting cut because the SVG width and height is just 100 pixels. And radius was 50, that means the circle width was 100 pixels. And now, because we moved it 10 pixels right, so that part is cut. Uh, let's just add some width here instead of 100, let's say 200. Let's change this CX value a little more, say 80 pixels. And as you can see, it's moving more towards right. Similarly, let's make it say 150. And as you can see, it's moving more towards right. Similarly, if we reduce it, say 120, it starts moving to the left, say 70. Similarly, 50, 40. And as you can see, it's going now outside the SVG towards the left. All right, let's make it back to 50. Ooh. Now let's try changing the CY value. Say instead of 50, let's make it 60. The same issue here, the height of the SVG is just 100 pixels and the diameter of the circle was already 100. So because we moved the 10 pixel down, so it went out. So what we can do is we can just, instead of 100, let's just make it 200. Let's increase the value a little more, say 80. A little more, say 150. So as we increase the value, it moves down. And if we reduce the values, it moves up. Similarly, let's say 30. So it goes out of the SVG on the top. All right, so we can say if we increase the value of X, the circle moves towards the right. If we reduce the value of X, it moves towards the left horizontally. Similarly, when we increase the value of CY, it moves down. And when we reduce the value of CY, it moves up. Let's try changing the radius. Say instead of 50, we've got 80. So our circle got a bit bigger, but because our CX and Y are 50, 50, 
so our center is a bit towards the top left corner so that's where the circle is going out so if we change this say we make it 80 we make this 80 so it's like perfectly inside let's try adding a border to the circle so we can use another property called stroke so let's use that so a stroke except a color so in our case let's just say dark blue let's say that you see there's a very very thin border let's increase the thickness so for that we have another property called stroke width so let's add that so let's say 10 pixels let's say that and as you can see the thickness is a little more 10 it's 10 pixels now but a circle is getting cut again the same reason because the radius is a little more than our cx and cy so let's just increase this a bit more say 100 pixels and 100 pixels let's say that and now a circle is visible properly with the border say now you want to convert the circle to a ring how would you do that well it's pretty simple we can just increase the width of the stroke a bit more and make the fill transparent so let's try that so instead of 10 let's say it's 25 let's save it and the fill instead of light blue let's make it transparent let's save it and as you can see now we've got a ring here that's all for today guys try playing with the values create your own designs and shapes if there's something that you did not understand feel free to drop a comment and we will discuss it see you in the next video bye and take care